Hello everyone and welcome to 23 Sets Room Tour to the NES Passage. Um, I thought I should start me with a few pickups. I only picked up two things. I picked up this Nintendo NES Action Set box. And I got it for five dollars. But it really looked like a sweet deal. Until I saw all the damage. There's tape down there. There's just some red stuff there. There is a rip. Right there, I thought it was tape, it's not, it's a rip. And then there is a hole, if I believe, somewhere right here on the bottom, there's a small hole. But other than that, the back is in the best shape. And I really only bought it because I wanted to complete my NES. So it's going to be a pickups and room tour. And I also got this PS1 Mini um, with Tony Hawk Pro Skater. It came with the AC adapter, it didn't come with anything else. I think that was kind of sad, but let's move on to um, the NES game. So I'll start doing that. Alright, we have Hogan's Alley. Under that we have Wrecking Crew. Sorry about that. Um, Gyromite, Mario Bros, Super Mario Bros, and Pinball. Alright, here we start our games. Um, Akari Warrior. Um, not the Black Box, but the other game. Akari Warriors. Um, this is Kung Fu Heroes. It's written really bad. It's by Culture Brain. I'm going to give you some of my intake on some of these games or bad. This might end up horrifically wrong, but we'll see. So Dragon Power, that's kind of like a Legend of Zelda clone, sort of. Super Mario Bros. Duck Hunt, do I really need to comment on that? Terminator 2, I've heard lots about it, not good things, um, but I haven't played it yet. Bandai Golf Pebble Challenge, um, I do not like that game at all. Base is loaded, no comment, 8 eyes. Bayou Billy, Classic Concentration, Deadly Towers, Destination Earth Star, Lolo, Airwolf Infiltrator. I'm gonna start naming them off again. Kings of the Beach, Goal 13, Goonies 2. I really like that game. It's a good Konami game. Gotcha by LJN. Um, under that we have Yoshi. I really don't know how to pronounce that. The Cybernoid, I guess. Under that, Days of Thunder. A pretty good racing game in fact sanity which I cannot figure out. Alright, we go all the way back up to the top. Starting off with my broken game, Super C. Under that, uh, WrestleMania, can you focus? Camera. Don't zoom, I want you to focus. Focus. Please. That's not gonna focus. Alright. So we have WrestleMania. Under that we have Freedom Force. I don't really know much about this game. Skater Die, Ghosts and Goblins, that's hard as heck. Uh, Mike Tyson's Punch, um, that's a pretty good game. It's classic. Classic. Alright, we have Track and Field 2. Double Dibble. <laughs> um, we have... Oh, what's that game? They have to make this so annoying. That is... Base is loaded. Boy, you are lucky that they started labeling the other ones. Like, this is loaded three. Um, Chilico, the company. Uh, Pictionary, RC program. I got the manual for that recently. Anticipation. Uh, Jordan vs. Bird. One on one. Super Glove Ball for my Power Glove. Captain Skyhawk. Friday the 13th. Remember that we have Super Mario Bros. 2, aka Doki Doki Panic in Japan on Famicom. Um, we have 2D Earth, a uh, zapper game. I don't know this one. Some sort of LJN baseball game. RBI Baseball, I think. I hate how they have a label like that. Millipede, Mission Impossible, Back to the Future, Xenophobe. I hate that game. <sighs> no, that's RBI Baseball. I don't know what that is. RBI Baseball, Mickey Mouse Escape, Mouse Escape, Acclaimed Star Voyager, Strider. Swords and Circuits Operation Wolf. Up here we start with some classics. Super Mario Bros. 3. I got that for pretty cheap. Kirby's Adventure. Platoon. I just got that recently. Joust, which um, I believe is very similar in gameplay style to Balloon Fight. And that Cultron 6 in 1 game, Adam, Adam and Eve. Godzilla. Underestimated. Most people think it's really bad, but I actually enjoy it for what it is. Uh, Stianax. 
I don't know. <laughs> I don't play that very often. A karate kid. I can't get past the first stage just because the controls for me feel so slippery. Um, Russian Attack by Konami. Any Konami game is good. Uh, except for Nudge Nudge Wink Wink. Um, this right here. Um, Zexus. Underrated gem. There's only three games with Z. I mean X. Sorry. I have two of the games with X's. I have Zexus and I have... Uh, where was it? Xenophobe. I'm only missing one, one now to complete my X. Uh, Dick Tracy, that's based off the movie, which I like the movie, I don't like the game. Winter Games, I am not talking about that, I was doing a video, but it got abandoned. Predator, you might see that in my intro, I like this game, actually, for what it is, because it was one of the first games I got, so maybe just, like, nostalgia, starting to collect, that's one of my first games. Tetris 2, I have the box for that, and the manual. Top Gun, not talking about those. Little Nemo, Dream Master, Double Dragon 2. I don't like the, I like the graphics in Double Dragon 2, but I like the gameplay more in Double Dragon 1. But I also like some of the challenges in Double Dragon 2, so I prefer this one. I prefer the Double Dragon 1 control. Donkey Kong Classics for the first and second Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr. But we you don't need Donkey Kong 3 because of that. Who really want to play that? So yeah, they're smart with that it's because the classics not the bad. All right. Bill Elliott's NASCAR, NASCAR Challenge, just because it's a sports game I never played. So I can't comment about that. If it's good, leave it in the comments. Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. That is going to be my next NES Pest video. Under that we have Rambo. And we have a No Labeler, which is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, The Manhattan Project. Under that, my favorite shooter that I own, even better than Life Force, in my opinion. Uh, Dragon Spirit. Under that we have Dr. Mario, DuckTales, Robocop, Jackal, Total Recall, um, that's another Swords and Anger game. <sighs> I don't really like it. It's better than, um, some of the others, though, of Pac-Man by Tengen. That's not the unofficial version. It has Tengen on it. I don't know. <laughs> it's it's Pac-Man, that's all I'm going to say. We have Mag Max, which is a pretty fun, sort of like, forced scrolling shooter. It's not really a shooter. It's not a space shooter. It's not a shoot 'em up. I don't know. Mega Man 2. Oh, that's an awesome Mega Man game. Uh, insanely difficult. The Legend of Zelda and Link to the uh, Adventure of Link. I recently got Link to the Past, and I just fixed the box. Life Force. I still think Dragon Spirit's better. In my opinion. Wizards and Warriors. I have the second one. Um, too. I like it. I don't play it too often. Time Lord, no comment. TNC Surf Design, it's an LJM game, that's all I have to say. This one's interesting. Ivan, in quotation marks, Iron Man, I have some quotation marks, Stewart's Super Off-Road. Um, now this one's interesting. <laughs> I don't know what to label it under. I don't know if I label it under IV or IR or S. I don't know. So, tell me how I should organize that one. Target Renegade. That's a fun one. Othello. Uh, I only got it because it's not, it's just a filler title. Based on the board game. Simpsons, Bart vs. the World. No. <laughs> I don't like it. Silent Service. Maybe I should zoom in a little bit. No. Silent Service. Dragon Warrior. That's a good one. Double Dragon, classic. Codename Viper, you can only see Viper when it says codename. Um, under that, the original Final Fantasy, which I also have in box over there. <laughs> um, Fester's Quest, I like the music, I don't like the game. Simon's Quest, um, Castlevania 2. I actually appreciate it for what it is. Maybe it's because it's the only Castlevania game I have and I've never experienced their other games. And I never know if it's good or not. But that's um, all I know about that. Core Triangle. It's a boating game. I really like it. Kung Fu, darn it! Black Box game. Ooh. Hi, I'm back. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I forgot about Kung Fu. I forgot that it was a black box. I didn't remember I had it. I'll have to swap it up here. Alright, so that's Kung Fu. Good game. 
black box. Um, Blades of Steel. I really like this game, especially when you get into fights. It's really fun. Dark Man, very slippery controls. I don't like it. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game. Definitely not as good as the arcade. I will say that. Um, but it is pretty close. Uh, play Turtles in time. Uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit by LJN. Ugh, I don't like the controls. Tiger Heli by Taito. Taito, I like Taito games. Uh, Demon Sword, which is kind of like another game over here called The Legend of Kage. It's like an exact ripoff. Um, Batman by Sunsoft. A really hard game. And the original TMNT. I appreciate it for what it is. Alright, now we go on to my unlicensed game. I, I will start off with all of this and I'll end with my prize gem in my collection. Alright, first one I have is Bible Adventures by Wisdom Tree. And Wisdom Tree is just uh, Color Dreams, technically. I have a Color Dreams game there called Adventures of Captain Comet. Those are my only two deformed cartridges except for my prize gem I'm about to show. I have Gauntlet and Tengen. Super Sprint. Um, Alien Syndrome. That one. That one's Rolling Thunder. And this one has to be Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. So those are all my, uh, most of my unlicensed games. I have one more. That I will show at the end. That if you watch my intro, you already know I have. After that, I have Amagon, Rad Racer 2, Uncommon Game, Elevator Action, Dungeon Magic, Iron Sword, Wizards Warriors 2. There's the first one. Second one, I have a poster on my wall of it. Legacy of the Wizard, I do not like this game. Most people are going to disagree with me, but I do not like it. It's my personal taste. Legend of Kage, the exact same thing as Demon Sword, like I said. Low G Man, I can't really figure it out. The original Rad Racer, Wrath of the Black Manta, that's an underrated gem right there. Blaster Master, it's a classic. Um, Jaws, Bionic Commando, Bubble Bubble, Spy Hunter, Ninja Garden, and at last, Tetris. So those are all my NES games except for my crown jewel. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Da -da -da -da. Action 52. It doesn't have a real box, it's just printed. I, If you watch my intros, you'll know I own this game. Um, after that, I usually just keep it in a box, never to be played, because really, who would want to? And I keep it in a plastic Ziploc bag with paper towel on the back so it doesn't get scratched up by the case. And I have it taped there so that it will not collect dust if the case isn't enough. So that's my last game, Action 52. And that completes my NES collection. It's by far my largest collection because I've been collecting for it for the longest. All my games are about to fall. <sighs> the space is pretty crowded in between these two places. And there's some stuff on the floor. So, yeah, Action 52 is added there. And that's all my games. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'd like to know your input about this.